Hello everyone. <clears throat> All right. Hello everyone. Um, and this is how to in how to install um, Mac OS X and Oracle VM VirtualBox. Is this this program right here? First, what you want to do? I already have a download, but I'll do it again. You want to go to search up Oracle VM VirtualBox. All right. Oracle VM VirtualBox. Right here. This is what you want. Wait, is this the one you want? No. Sorry, wrong one. This one. Should be the first link. Yep. Um, so we want to go to, when you're on this, you want to go to Downloads. And then you want to do, so it's for Windows Host, Mac OS X, for Apple, Linux, or Solaris. So you can do either of those four. Just to let you know the system requirements, what you would want to have is that you would want to have at least an Intel Core i3 processor and up. Do not have AMD. This does not work on AMD processors. Um, if you have an AMD computer, then it's kind of bad because it won't work. Um, only Windows things can't run Mac OS X on AMD stuff. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, so let's open up VirtualBox. I already have it right here. So I'll just create another one. I'll delete it and create another one. So settings and what settings? Sorry, I want to do remove, delete all files. All right, when I click new, I'm going to do type Microsoft Windows. I'm going to change to Mac OS X. I'm going to do Mac OS X 10. Point, sorry, 10.8 Mountain Line 64 bit. That's what you want. You can name it OS X. Um, Next, if you want to do amount of RAM, I would just leave it the way it is. If you want to create, don't select anything else. I'm going to leave it at VDI. I'm going to leave it dynamically allocated. Then you can change how much gigabytes. I'll say I want it to be. Uh, let's do 85.04. Let's leave it like that. All right, now it's created. Now what you want to do is you want to download these two files. I'll put the links in the description. Hackboot 1, Hackboot 2, <coughs> oh yeah, sorry. And you want to do Mac OS X install disk. This download right here may take a while. Let's drag it on the desktop really quick. Um, you want to install these three. Do I mean download, sorry, these three. I'll put them in a description. I'll make my own download. I'll put them in the description. Hackboot 2, Hackboot 1, OS X 10.8 install DVD. That's what you want to do. So first what you want to do so you can download those right now if you want pause the video for feel free to do that um, first one do select that do the settings uh, display enable 3d acceleration you want to do that turn the video memory all the way up so it's the least laggy do settings again go to system disable enable EFI special OS's only get rid of that un un uncheck it it will, it will not work unless you uncheck it Wait, sorry, wait. It will not work if it's checked. You have to uncheck it for it to work. So, click OK. Do settings again. And then what we want to do is you want to go to storage. You want to go to click on the empty disk and click this. This little disk icon. And go down to Hackboot 1. Or if it's not there, go to choose a virtual DVD. Scroll down, go to desktop. You drag down on desktop or wherever the location is. And double click on Hackboot 1. Okay, and start it. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to run it and it's going to go to this screen. Okay, this screen right here. Now, the thing is, when it's on this screen, don't press enter or don't click any other keys. What you want to do while it's on here, you want to go take the CD's mouse, go down here, right click on this little, whoops, right click on this little disc right here. You want to switch. To choose a virtual DVD, scroll down and find the OS X 10.8 install DVD disk image file. Click open, and then what you want to do is you want to, while you're on the screen, after you do that, click press the F5 key on your keyboard, which will refresh it, and that will pop up install DVD and hit, and hit enter. And this might take a while. 
so we'll just let it sit. I'll come back to you once it's done. Okay, everyone, we're back, and it has successfully uh, loaded the bootloader. So I'm going to do English or select whatever country you're in, whatever language you use. Next. Then you want to click uh, continue. Click agree. Then don't freak out if you see this. There's nothing here. There's ways to fix it. Easy. Go to utilities. Once you're on the screen, go to utilities. Disk utility. Click on this. Click on partition. Click on current. One partition. Name it, let's say, OS X. Just do it. Leave it at Mac OS X Extended Journal. Make sure this is on a GUID partition table. And click Apply. Partition it. Alright, complete. Now once it's done, click on this red button, the red X. Then now it's just here. Click on this and click Install. Now this may take quite of a long time. It take about an hour to a half a half hour to an hour. Um, for me, it takes about 20 minutes. Depends on how fast the install is. Um, so I'll get back to you once it's done. See ya. Okay, back. I'm um, just to give just to give a quick note. Um, this may take longer than what it says. So it may take about an hour instead of 18 minutes because it doesn't really estimate right because I've done it and it's lasted about a couple hours once so just to let you know as you can see it's been around 20 minutes I don't know if you know that but it's been around 20 minutes here and it's at 11 minutes so just to let you know it's now at 9 minutes 7 minutes it's down to about a minute Now less than a minute. All right, everyone, it's going to restart in three, two, one. Restart. It's restarting. Now, once you see back, uh, by the way, <laughs> once you see system uptime in nanoseconds, that means it's time to close out of it. So close, power off the machine. Then what you want to do is go into settings. Storage. OS. Click on that. Click on that, and go to Hackboot 2. So, okay, and click Run. Now, once you're on the screen, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate over to this OS X screen, right here. Click Enter. It shouldn't boot OS X. Once it's done, I'll get back to you. Alright, it's loading in. It's loading in everything. Eventually, it'll pop right in. Just ignore the unable to open, it'll boot anyway. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back and look what has popped up. It worked. Alright, what's in the United States? I'm in the United States. US. Not now. I'm in the I'm in the oh, skip the Apple ID. Skip. Continue. Agree. Full name, Ryan. Let's try to do Ryan. Account name, Ryan. Ooh. Password and then password hint. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't really think really care. All right. It's creating my account. 
I like that picture, it's bowling pins. Alright, I'm going to do Chicago. Hashtag corrupt for life. Chicago. CH. There it is. Okay, next. City. Skip. Skip. And start using your Mac. Boom. It's working. It's just loading in everything. Just let it go. There's the bar. And then this, the dock should be pop up right down here. Oh, there it is. Yay! Congratulations, you have gotten Mac OS X running on VirtualBox. That's pretty much it about the video. So, goodbye and see you later.